<laughs> He's going to love this. Hey guys, Jess here, and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. Now, I am so super excited because I have a big surprise for Malachi. I changed up Levin's room so Malachi feels a little bit more welcome because as you know, in the last episode, I went around Phoenix Drop to see how things have changed since I was gone, and a lot of things changed. Not only did the villagers change in personality a little bit, but the town itself is being worked on by everybody, and it's just beautiful. There's this lovely little wheat field here where that house once was where Zane stayed and everyone agreed that it kind of left a bitter taste in their mouth. So they decided to put a wheat field there instead and it just looks so nice. It's right in front where I can just like wake up in the morning and see the wheat fields. It's beautiful. Um, not only that, but over here, there is this guard tower that they were working on and I haven't gone to take a look at it, which today I'm probably going to go look at it if I get the chance to get around to it. But it's, they're planning on doing like some crazy stuff like putting some more pillars around and making a huge giant wall around Phoenix Drop to, you know, keep things a little bit more safe, especially with Ocasus just like lurking in the shadows. It's a little, a little worrisome, but just so many things have changed, even the path to the village has changed. It's so beautiful, and I'm so proud of everyone. Um, and I know that Garth is planning on moving into one of these guard towers, which is perfectly fine. Um, I think they might use that as a house or something, though, so that building that I made, it'll go into good use. Um, but like I was saying earlier, I wanted Malachi to feel more um, welcomed in the house. So I went into Levin's room, and I'm pretty sure Levin doesn't mind because I kind of already asked him. But I made Malachi a little spot in Levin's room, and of course I gave him a few gifts as well. Now you all remember that when I first got Levin... Um, and he was left at my doorstep. He came with this name tag, and I put it above his bed, and yes, I know, I had to get rid of Levin's crib because he's growing up, and he's getting bigger, and it's so bittersweet because, you know, you're so happy he's growing up, but at the same time, you're like, I miss when he was a little baby, so yeah, it's like so nice and like so, like, I don't know, sad at the same time. I don't know. Anyway, so what I did was I made uh, Levin his little bed here and I put his name tag above it and not only that but I made Malachi a name tag and I put it above his bed with some toys because I know when I first met him in the castle um, I got him the toy soldiers because when I first met him in the castle he had some of those. I got him some blocks and a choo choo train and a boat just like Levin. Um, Levin has a lot of toys already so I figured I'd get Malachi some and uh, yeah so I'm really excited to show him that today. So that's the change that I made inside of their room but not only that I'm slowly slowly making changes to my own house as you can see down here I replaced the um, the little tile that kawaii chan put in uh, with some jungle some jungle wood because I just thought it would look a little bit nicer a little bit more calm but I also have a kitchen and Zoe's been using it and there's little Levin and Malachi with their doggies and they're all so cute just playing right now and um, I already told Zoe about what's going on upstairs I just told her to keep them distracted so yeah um is your surprise ready yet you should go and call the boys up <laughs> yeah i should so let's do that right now all right um let me see if i can just call them up uh levin malachi can you guys come upstairs for a second surprise i hope you like it um the 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 the, the this is for me he begins to cry oh uh are, do you not like it? No, it's wonderful. I, I was living in that dark castle for so long alone that it's nice to share a room with my little brother. Um, thank you, Mama. Oh, thank you so much. Um, could Levin and I play together in here for today? Oh, of course, absolutely. Th thank you for everything. Oh, he hugs you. <laughs> oh. Levin's talking to me? <gasps> He's talking to me, finally! <laughs> um, <laughs> brother crying, he not happy. This is the first time he's ever talked to me like this. Just, um, oh, I, oh my gosh. The first thing I say to him has got to be like, explains to Levin, being happy may sometimes come with tears of joy. Or explain that Malachi is not used to th this kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to explain to Levin that being happy sometimes comes with tears of joy. Oh, so brother happy? Okay, he happy, love and happy, hee <laughs> hee, so cute. All right, so I'm gonna let them enjoy the room for today, and um, let's see. Uh, I think I'm gonna go, and uh, let's see, Zoe. Um, I showed them the room. 
Afma, how did Malachi like his new room? He, <laughs> he loved it. He cried tears of joy. Fantastic. Oh, by the way, the new kitchen is amazing. I can start cooking and everything now. Before we used to go down to Molly's house to cook our meals since the furnace downstairs broke. Oh, it did? I'm sorry. So glad you're back to help me with these kind of things. Hehe. <laughs> by the way, be sure to come home for dinner. I'm making mushroom stew. Oh, yay! Awesome! Why did I not sound enthusiastic about that? I don't know, but... <laughs> All right, um... Emma? Emma, why are you here? And why is Kyle going on to the... Okay, I'm not gonna question that. You're his mom, so... Afmao, good morning. Um, I hope you don't mind. I brought little Kyle to play on the playground. No, I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Quite honestly, I'm a little concerned about being inside of our house right now. Kawaii-chan has been making a lot of ruckus since midnight. I think she's brewing up potions or something. Kyle didn't get much sleep, so I decided to bring him out to play today. Oh. Well, if he didn't get a lot of sleep, um... Let's see. Uh, yeah, I got an extra room in my house. If he gets tired, you can use it. Really? That's so kind of you. Thank you. I think I might just take you up on that offer soon. Kyle is kind of delusional from the lack of sleep, but you know kids, they find the energy for playtime anyways. <laughs> Thanks again. Oh, yeah, of course. And you're just in good spirits right now. I want to play, but I'm tired. But play, play, play. Yes, Apple? But Yes, but um, sleep too. Okay, yeah, you you do what you wanted to do. There, I have extra rooms in the bottom because I have Zoe's room and then I have the guest room that uh, Lawrence used to be in. I wonder what he's planning on doing, by the way, in terms of, like, you know, going out to, uh, if he's gonna, like, stay in the guard tower or is he gonna come back? I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and, uh, head out. Oh! Um, Garth! Hey! What are you doing out here? Lord Afmao, I I'm sorry, you kind of caught me by surprise. I wasn't expecting to run into you on my duty. Um, really? I mean, I'm always kind of around town, just running around, look, seeing what everyone's up to. Ah, yes, I suppose you do run about every day. Um, so, yes. Uh, something going on? Something is. I've gotten a disturbance report from Cory that Kawaii-chan has been making a lot of noise since last night. Since midnight last night. I'm going to investigate it and see if she can keep it down a bit. Oh. Oh, that's right! I forgot! Yeah, she is working on her little maid summoning thingy today. Little maid summoning? Oh, that's right! Kawaii-chan has animation magics, doesn't she? Well, in any case, she really should practice that during the day. Not when everyone is sleeping. Um... How about you let me go with you? C come with me? Um, just you and I together? Um, sh sure, we can go. Alright, yeah, let's go. Right, let's go see what she's up to. <sighs> Wait for me, Garth. I- Oh! What is that? She like- Oh. Garth-kun, Afma-senpai, so glad you two were able to make it to the summoning ceremony today. Oh. Kawaii-chan, Afmao may, may be here for her own reasons, but I'm here because anonymous reports have been coming in that you have been causing quite the ruckus since midnight that has been keeping people up. Oh, yeah, I, am. Um... <laughs> oh, oh no! Kawaii-chan was so excited last night she couldn't sleep, so she decided to work on her little maid summoning techniques. She didn't realize that others were being affected by it. Kawaii-chan is so sorry. Aww. It's okay, Kawaii-chan. Just please remember that there are other people around you. Next time I'll have to assign a guard to watch the area. I don't think it will come to that, but I hope you understand. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna come to that, but, you know, I would be excited if I were her too. Kawaii-chan does, garth -kun. She's so sorry again. No problem. Um, would you like to stay for the summoning too? Kawaii-chan's about to start. Hmm, sure, I don't have any other orders of business to attend to. Ready? Alright, here we go! Are you okay, Kawaii-chan? Oh. Ah! Kawaii-chan did it! She brought them to life! She begins to cry. Aww. Um, are you okay? Oh, Kawaii-chan is perfectly fine. I was just afraid it wasn't going to work. I've been without a little maid for such a long period of time. I forgot it was a... Uh, it was... it was? No, I forgot it takes a lot of my energy to do that. Can you do me a favor and walk them around so... They can learn about walking. 
You just have to give them cakes in the chest in order to get them to follow you. Kawaii-chan is just gonna sit down. Okay. Yeah, you- you- I- I can do that. I can walk them around. Yeah, I think they'll be perfectly fine with me. So, um, yeah, uh, Gar? Kawaii-chan, is she okay? Um, apparently doing the summoning thing just drains a lot of her energy. I would imagine. I know it takes a strong heart to perform magics, or that strong will, or I'm not a magic user, so I wouldn't know. I, um, yeah, but, uh, she kind of wants me to walk the dolls around town. Really? Are they safe to be around? Hmm, well, I suppose if she trusts you to do it, then it must be safe. Let me know if you have any problems, and I'll come help you. We can let Kawaii-chan rest until then. Let's get going. Alright, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, so, uh, Kawaii-chan's gonna rest, and I, I guess I just, oh, the, she said the cake's in the chest over there, so there's cakes over there, and, oh, okay, cheesecake, red velvet cake, and chocolate sprinkle cake. Alright, um, I can do this. Uh, hello, little thing. Oh, uh, what is that? That's, this one's a cheesecake? Higher? Okay. Aw, cute! And, oh, you have, like, a little leak thing. That's so cute, hello! Um, this one, red velvet cake. Higher. And, um, this one is a, oh, yeah, because you, you have to hire the little maids. They used to be hired with sugar, but I guess they, they can be hired with cake now. So if I move, do they just come with me? Or... Oh, there they go! Oh, that's so cute! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was like, did I break them or something? I don't want to break them because then Kawaii-chan would be very disappointed. Alright, so you little guys can follow me. Um, if they come out, like, are they working properly? Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, there they go. There's one. Um, can you guys come out this way? Maybe? Like, just come over here? And there's one. Are the other ones broken? Did, did I break them? I hope I didn't break them. Uh, come here! Come here! Little things, come here. Do you guys need help or are you good? There you go. There you go. You you got out. You're good. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, they're they're good. I'm just going to help them out a little bit. The other the little one looks stuck. This one looks fine. These two don't look so well. Uh come on. Come on. You you can make it. You could do it. Just just get out. And you too. We can do this. Come on. I'm going to help you guys learn how to walk. It's okay. Yeah, I know you, you, you can't do it right, but right, you'll, you'll get it. Trust me. I, I'm, I'm determined to teach you guys for Kawaii chan Come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go a little this way. How about that? I'll move a little this way. Maybe they'll be able to just, maybe they're just shy or something. Let's see. Oh, there's one. And, uh, where's the other one go? Where'd the other one go? Where, where'd the other one go? Where, these things are broken. Uh, they're not broken. Kawaii chan put a lot of love into them, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna deem them broken. Oh, you are just, you just need to, come on, you could do it. You could do it. You are so close to doing it. Come on. Come on, come on. Brendan, what are you doing here? It's, this is, ooh, this is a little weird. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna see if that one, I'm gonna leave that door open. Maybe the other one will come out. All right, so, um, what's, what's going on over here? Oh, wait, Roxy? Why is Roxy in here? Uh, are you okay, Roxy? Okay, yeah, I'm assuming you're okay. Uh, oh, Nicole! Man, it's dark in here! Did- <laughs> What are you doing in here? Ah! What are those? Uh, what? Those little people following you! Uh, oh, they're Kawaii-chan's dolls. Oh, they're so cute! Hmm, I feel like I've seen something like those a long time ago. Oh, Afmal, I was going to ask, can I move into this house here? I was thinking about making it look nice and all. Uh, sure, yeah! For sure! Great, I'm gonna make some cool memories here, haha. <laughs> Alright, nice. Oh, hey! There you are! I knew you could do it. You had it in you, you see? Okay, maybe I should avoid going into houses because, uh, I was just curious as to why Brendan's here. I'm gonna leave the doors open for you guys because you guys are still learning how to walk and, yeah, you can just follow me and do your own thing. That'll be perfectly fine. Uh, Brendan? She's moving into that house. Do you think she needs someone to help her build? I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. I don't need to, I don't need to deal with this right now. Uh, alright, so walk around town for these guys. Um, Actually, you know what? There was a sign over here that, uh, I saw before when I came out. Oh, wait. Out visiting Matelli for more books. If you need to use my library, please check out the book you take at my desk. Thanks, Emmeland. Oh, okay, I guess she's out doing something. Uh, it looks like, yeah, oh, look, now they're getting it. Now you, you, you guys are getting it. You're good. There we go. Just follow me. Yeah, you'll be fine. Um, 
Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Cadenza, I guess I can check on Cadenza. I, no, I'm gonna wait to go into the houses. No, I wanna check on Cadenza. I wanna see how she's doing. Can you guys just, like, stay put? I know it's a little difficult for you to understand right now, and I'm not good at this kind of thing, so, uh... Oh, Cookie! Hi, Cookie! How are you? Um, oh, Cadenza! Oh, Avma, I'm sorry. I'm busy right now. Stop by tomorrow. I have a surprise for you. Hee <laughs> hee. Ooh, yes! I love surprises. Alright, can you guys come out? I'm leaving doors open. I'll come back and close them later on tonight, but, um, I just really want to make sure these guys know how to get out and in and all these other kind of good things. Oh, what is that? What is that? Let's see. Can I make them stand still? Oh, okay. Alright, let's see. Following, waiting, following, waiting. Oh, yes! Okay, alright, so I can go into houses. There we go. Alright, so, um... Yeah, I guess we can just go look around and, um, see what's going on in town. Uh, ba -da 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 -da. oh, I was expecting nothing to go on here, actually, but whatever. <laughs> uh, ooh, Donna, hey, you're walking everywhere today. Uh, yeah, Aphmau, this is horrible. Oh, wait, what are those absolutely adorable things following you? Um, they're Kawaii Chan's dolls, they're, they're, brought, they're being brought to life. Oh, they're so cute, I would love to have one, but now isn't the time... Two things. My mother is coming into town to visit Logan and I for a few days, and, um, well, she doesn't like dogs, and, as you know, I don't consider Logan a dog, but he is a werewolf, and she might... Ugh, I'm so worried. Wait, everything will be fine. Yeah, you're right, but still, I just don't want to go through the whole thing of trying to please her, you know? Or even worse, what if I have to hide Logan? I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I... Ugh. Your mother should just accept Logan for who he is. Ugh, well, not only that, but did you know that the werewolf pup Yip? Well, he wants Logan to teach him how to be a werewolf. Logan isn't too thrilled about that. Logan doesn't like kids very much. And, well, I don't know what to do, because I want to adopt Yip? You, you should! Yes, but I don't want to tell Logan. Can you tell him for me? No, you do it yourself. I know, I know. Ugh, well... Thanks for hearing about my rant, Afmao. I'm going to think a little on these things. Just, um, know my mother's coming into the town in a few days. Stay away from us if you want to keep your sanity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I will, because I don't, I don't particularly like the crazy cat lady. She's crazy. Like, mean crazy, not nice crazy, too. Uh, oh, what's going on here? No, I will not teach you how to be a werewolf. I don't even know how to be one. I'm not one by birth. Aw. Please, you're the only one that's in the village that's like me. Aww. Okay, don't be a jerk. Be nice. Be super nice. He's just a puppy. Tiny puppy. And aww. I, I mean, if he wants to come with me, he can. But if Donna wants to adopt him, I don't want to stop her. And, you know, just... Logan's got to stop being a jerk. That's it. Right? Little guys? You guys are so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, I think they're getting the hang of walking, by the way. They seem to be doing really... Okay, the stairs are a little bit of a trial for them. But I think they're doing perfectly fine. They're doing a good job. So far. But we'll see how they go. Um... Oh, Alexis, that's right. There's so many things I want to check. All right, so how about this? How about this? You, you, you wait here. Yeah, you wait there. You, you wait here too. And you, you, you wait here as well. All right, cool. Yeah, you guys wait there because I don't want you to get mixed up and all weird. And the, there's Dante over there. He's like, what is he doing? I'll go check on him in a second. Um, how's Alexis? Oh, she's still asleep. Eesh. L love. Hmm. Huh. Molly? Oh, half mouth. Alexis said she's... Alexis has said a word in her slumber. I think we're getting close to something big. I can feel it. Oh, so good. I hope... Oh, I really do hope that she's... She comes out of that soon. Oh, why is this little creeper thing? This creeper doll. Stuffed creeper. Put that right there. There we go. All right. Um, Let's see. Let's see if the little maids did a good job just waiting. Oh, they did! They're waiting! They're so cute! All right, now you can follow me. You're fine to follow me. You're fine to follow me, too. And you're fine to follow me as well. Um, oh, I, there's so many things going on, like, every time, there's so much stuff going on, I want to see, what are you guys holding? Oh, oh, Afma, just enjoying a nice sip of water with the fellas after a hard day's work, <laughs> uh, just finished up improving some of the paths in town, like it, haha, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, the paths have been changed a little bit, it looks like that, um, Phew, it's been a long day's work, especially with my dad and the doctor doctor, those two guys are crazy old men, ugh. Woof. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of want to see what Kiki's up to. Why is her gate open? Is she okay? Where is she? Uh, where? Oh, there she is. 
What is she doing up there? Uh, hey, can you little... Where did the other one go? There he is. Stop being weird. Ah, elephants are loud. All right, wait here. Wait. I'm trying to teach you guys how to wait and follow and climb up stairs, but I don't think climbing up stairs is something that you guys should even be doing right now. Oh, this is cute. I like it. I'm gonna close this. Kiki, what are you... What are you up to? Oh, Afmal, just getting things ready for my little angel. <laughs> By the way, have you seen Sean Connery and Cuddlezilla? They were here yesterday, but I only saw them once. They had a lot of hay in their mouths. Maybe it's a hamster thing? Oh, interesting. Where's your... Where's your... Oh, there it is. I was wondering where her pendant was. I didn't see it last time. All right, yeah, you guys, yeah, you do your thing, Kiki. It looks like every... Oh, I just love the fact that everyone's so active. All right, um, now... Oh, good job waiting, you guys. You can follow me now. Follow me. And follow. Let's get out of here before I die because the elephant's gonna yell and my ears are going to get really like. Bleh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, last stop that I wanna make, I think, is, um, let's see. I really wanna go check out the guard tower, but I have to go into this one because I saw Dante up there and I just wanna see what he's up to. Um, oh, this is gonna be a tricky one. Oh. Lawrence and Corey. Sir, Garth is currently looking into the issue. I'm sure it's just a big misunderstanding. She kept me up on- oh, pfft. Okay, alright, that's- that's fine. Um, okay, I'm not gonna get involved in that. Uh, Dante, hey! Uh, what's- what are you- Oh, a training dummy. Uh, interesting. Uh, hey, Lord Fmau, is that- um, what are those? They're dolls! Time is better! <laughs> I don't mean to yell, I don't have any other option though. Interesting. What do they do? Um, th a lot of stuff? Can they fight? Do you think I can have that blue-haired one? Why, because you have blue hair? But uh, I can't give them away. They're kawaii chans. Ah, I see. Well, the little blue-haired one looks cool. If they can fight, then maybe I can use one as a sparring partner. Do you think you can talk to kawaii chan about that? Uh, sure, but I don't see why you don't ask Garth or Lawrence. But yeah, sure, I'm sure... Yeah, she wants to help all she can. Sounds awesome. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, where did the little... Did they just run off? I, I really... Oh, yeah, they can't go bladders. I forgot. Oh, you know, wait, maybe they can't... Oh, wait, they're just harassing Lawrence. That's, that's fine. All right, yeah, you guys harass him while he's dealing... Yeah, yeah, you do it! Yay! Just keep... You know. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he gets in trouble. Come on, guys. Come on! Come on! You got it! You are... All right, you can... You, the other one can do it. Yeah, all right. Um... I guess we can do that right now. Let's go ahead and while Brendan's being creepy, let's go ahead and ask Kawaii Chan, uh, see if she's okay. You know, just check on her. And Kimi Chan's over there. I'm glad Kimi Chan is just like a tamed horse and doesn't wander around like my other ones. Uh, Kawaii Chan? Hey, how are you doing? Uh, oh, hey, um, Afmao Senpai, are Kawaii Chan's babies okay? Um, why would I say that one? Uh, <laughs> Yes, I took them for a long walk around town. Good. Uh, I'm so out of it. Can you, um, just leave them here? Uh, can I just tell you before I forget, because I probably will, um, about Dante's request? D Dante wants to use a doll as a combat doll? Um, who is Dante? I need to meet him to see if he has a good heart. Uh... Well, speak of the devil! Hey! Are you okay? Who are you? My name is Dante. I'm one of the new guards of Phoenix Drop. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Kawaii Chan. Afma Senpai tells Kawaii Chan you want to use one of her dolls as a sparring partner so you can train your combat skills. Yeah, um, is that okay? Your heart is a good heart. When Kawaii Chan is feeling better, you can have one of my dolls. Um, thank you. Are you okay? Kawaii Chan just needs to rest. Can you two please give her some time? Yeah, of course. I'll just leave these little guys here. Yeah, let's go ahead and go. I just really hope she's going to be okay. She was really pale, and it's just not like her. Um, Kawaii-chan seems like a nice person. Um, I think I've met her somewhere before. How? I don't remember, but it can't be the same girl. She never talked in third person like that, but she did have pink hair. Plus, a girl I know didn't know magics. Hmm, interesting. In any case, I'm going to stand guard around here. Kawaii-chan was really pale, and I'd feel bad if she fainted and hit her head on the counter, or something like that while she's in that state. That sounds good. I'm actually gonna go... I'm gonna go turn in, because I've been walking around, and I'm gonna go play with Levin and Malachi. 
Good. See you tomorrow, Lord Afmao. And try to get some rest tonight? <laughs> I'll try, but no promises because I like to stay up and kind of like work on things that I have planned. Oh, hey, where? I haven't even seen you around town. Where have you been? So, how did your day with the dolls go? <laughs> they were so cute and so tiny, but didn't know how to walk. <laughs> yeah, they were. Um, so Dante, he met with Kawaii chan Yeah, he did. Good. Dante seems a little reserved. I'm glad he got out and met someone new. He really keeps to himself. In any case, would you like me to walk you home? It's getting really late. <laughs> I walk these streets all the time, Garth. I think I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you can take care of yourself. Alrighty, have a good night, Lord Afmao. Aw, but thanks. I really do appreciate it. I'll give you a hug. <laughs> All right, um, so let's go ahead and head on home. Um, I just, no, Brendan, I just really just want to, okay. <laughs> he's like so, uh, he's like seriously never had any luck with girls. The only girl that liked him was Emmeline. He didn't even notice her. Anyway, it's getting late, guys. I'm going to go ahead and turn in for the night. But thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all next time. And hey, maybe I'll have a little maid to help me out. Or maybe I'll get one for Levin and Malachi. But I kind of want to see where they go with Kawaii-chan and how they do with Dante. Because I don't know. Like, they still have to function right. And I think that Kawaii-chan's magic's just a little off. Not in a bad way. I just think that she needs a little bit more practice before I'd feel okay leaving one of the little dolls with Lemon and Malachi. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.